Creative Studio based out of the Midwest that focuses on graphics, surface pattern design, and illustration. I have a background working in the fashion industry and in higher education for the last nine years. I specialize in creating surface pattern design and other digital illustrated media for the fashion, product, and stationery industries. You may know me from my previous classes here on Skillshare that have focused on trend forecasting, but I'm really excited to bring this new class to you guys. It combines my love of graphic design, my love of planning and bullet journaling, all into one really fun, creative, and tech-savvy project. So in this class, we are going to learn how to create a linked digital planner in Affinity Publisher. I love planning. Planning has helped me get through pretty much half of my life when it comes to career and school and work. In the past, I've really focused on paper planning using actual planners and other planning tools and stationery, washi tapes, stickers, things like that because it adds like that bit of creativity that I think I need sometimes when it comes to my organization and productivity aspects of my life. But over the last year and a half, I've had a lot of fun designing and creating digital stickers for clients and for my own online shops like on Etsy as well as Creative Market and on my own website. I feel like digital planning kind of combines all of my creative loves into one when it comes to the illustration aspect, the graphic design aspect, and it also pulls in some really strong tech abilities when it comes to working with programs like GoodNotes and then of course Affinity Publisher. I also really enjoy using Affinity Publisher for creating planners and other digital printables and things like that because it's so easy to create precise shapes, um, to space them evenly, and to add vector effects to the shapes and link all of your pages for use in apps like GoodNotes. It's also really easy to add dates to the planner and keep numbers properly aligned using the Align tool. You can choose to create either a dated or an undated planner as your class project. Personally, I like the undated versions because it just gives me a little bit more room for creativity um, and more space I can write and doodle on and things like that. So some of the skills that you're going to learn in this class specifically relate to Affinity Publisher and then also using GoodNotes. We're going to start with the basics of understanding the tools, the menu bars, and the function in the Affinity Publisher software. Then we're going to actually start to build out your planner. You'll learn how to create pages, you'll get an understanding of the layers functions in Affinity Publisher, and you'll also learn how to create tabs and how to actually link those tabs to different pages throughout the planner so that way it makes it easier when you're using it in GoodNotes and you actually want to go to a section, you can click on a tab and it'll take you directly there. We'll also learn how to create very basic buttons and icons and even how to create a really simple digital sticker set. I'm keeping it really simple here because I actually have a more in-depth course coming up on this very idea very, very soon. Finally, we're going to go over how to export your file for use in note-taking apps like GoodNotes and then how to load it into the app on your iPad. We will also go over some really simple tasks in GoodNotes like how to write on your planner, or how to add text, or how to duplicate the pages and the spreads that you've created so that you can reuse the templates that you've designed over and over and over again. It makes it really, really simple. And I think that's kind of like the benefit of digital planners. People really enjoy the eco-friendly aspect of it. You're not printing out a lot of pages, you're not using paper, and it also kind of helps to alleviate the stress of designing spreads and layout. I feel like people get really nervous when it comes to actual paper planners because they don't want to ruin the pristine page and that's the beauty of digital planning. You can undo, you can erase flawlessly, and there's not so much pressure to the creative side of things. All you need to take this class is your iPad and a stylus, the GoodNotes app or any other note-taking app that you may use, but specifically you want to probably use GoodNotes just because that's what I'm going over in the course. And of course you'll need a laptop or a computer with Affinity Publisher loaded onto it. So as I mentioned before, for our class project, we will be designing your very own digital planner. You're going to create a six spread layout in the program, including link tabs and sections that feature things like calendars, to-do lists, weekly outlines, habit trackers, and so much more. You will also be creating a basic digital sticker and button set for use in this planner, but like I said before, I'm keeping it really, really simple to start because I do have a class coming up here on Skillshare very soon focusing specifically on how to create your own 
digital stickers. So this class is totally geared towards beginners. You don't need any prior experience using the Affinity Publisher software as I'm going to be going over the basics and step by step to help you get comfortable using the software. What's really nice is that this whole project is geared towards getting you used to building in and creating with the Affinity Publisher software. And then in the end, you get something really fun and tangible that you can use. I'm excited to connect with everyone. Let's get creating.